Zoho Social integrated with Zoho CRM. The problems of social media marketing don't end at, I don't have time to post, what's the best time to post, is it actually working for me or not? It goes beyond it, you know? How do I generate leads from social media? Or, I have a sales team, I have a marketing team, someone manages social media, or I do it myself, but then, how do they help each other? What's the way where marketing can work together with sales uh, on the social media aspect of it? And then, this is the big one. Is there a way that I can attribute revenue to the social channel? Well, I'm so proud to say that we were the first tool that brought in this attribution where you could attribute revenue to a particular social channel. Let's see how that works. Before that, let me summarize quickly, for those of you uh, who are already familiar with the CRM social integration, these are the capabilities this integration offers. You can create lead generation rules. For example, you want to know uh, when someone sends me a tweet and has a keyword, let's say, I'm interested, can that person be a lead in my CRM? Yes. If someone comments on my Facebook wall, uh, company page, and says, can I talk to the salesperson? That can become a lead, so on and so forth. The next one is CRM context in Zoho Social. So. Let's say your social media person is replying to a tweet. Does that person already know that that tweet is from a lead? That's where the lead and contact tags help you. And we saw that in the demo. I'll come back to that in a bit. The next one is the Facebook lead ad integration. Facebook has half a dozen kinds of ads that you can run. The most popular one is the lead ad, wherein you run an ad, you collect email information, phone number, whatever, and the only way to make use of those leads currently is you download the leads in CSV, and then you upload them to your CRM. Or even if you have to view those leads, you download them and open them up in a, in a spreadsheet. What this integration does is you see all your Facebook lead ads live within Zoho Social without having to do anything. Once you're integrated, it all shows up there. And then the CRM-related reports that I was talking about. I'll quickly show you these aspects of the product. Let's dive back again into the product. The first one is, you know this tweet is coming from a lead because it has a lead tag on it. All right, let's say I want to add this person to my CRM. If, if there was a name already in the CRM with this, with this handle, it would sync up. And you could just add them to the CRM and they'll all be synced to your CRM account and social account. The same thing you can do on the monitor tab as well. So let's say we're looking at the Zoholix hashtag here on Twitter. We could go and add this, this person to CRM the same way. Now this is lead generation happening from social media manually. There's also a way to automate that. We'll see that in a while. The next thing is the reports I was talking about. We saw the other reports which are specific to the networks, but we didn't see the CRM one. All right, let's say you're running a Facebook lead ad campaign, you're getting leads, you want to see how that's working for you. Now, when you connect your Facebook account with the Zoho social account, your leads will start to show on the screen. You would see number of leads generated, name of the lead, phone number, email, depending on your lead form on Facebook. You could export them. You could email or you could get into the stats. So for example, you're running a campaign, how is it performing? What are the demographics it's working on? Uh, how is the placement working across different devices? You can associate any lead that came in from a Facebook lead ad campaign with a lead in your CRM. Now, coming to the automated lead generation, if I put it that way, you can define an action and you can set lead generation to happen automatically based on that action. So for example, someone comments or likes your Facebook lead ad or even your Facebook page post or comments with a keyword right here, you could add the keyword 
select whether you want that to happen as a lead or as a contact, and it'll go into the CRM. Now, these are the CRM reports I was talking about. So you can pull out a report which tells you how many leads were generated, which network did they come from, what are the social actions they performed, what are the total potential you created from those networks, and so on and so forth. And what's the revenue that came out of it? Let's go back to the product and look at a profile. Now, let's say I'm going to add this person in the CRM. I know the company is, let's say, Zoho. First name is Raji. Oh. And Now that person is my CRM. Now depending on the network this person came from, it will attribute to my CRM report. Now this was a manual way of doing it. Like I said, the automated way will work the same way. End of the month, you can pull out a report and see how many people became a lead or became a potential or eventually gave me revenue from which network. All right, that's pretty much it for the session. Uh, so Zoho Social over the years have has come to the leading third-party autonomous review sites. It's, it was recently ranked the leader in the G2 crowd and GetApp. We've been on the Captera top 20 with 2,700 plus reviews. So if you are looking for a social media tool, I would recommend checking it out. And these are the contacts where you can reach out to us at. You can tweet to us at Zoho Social, uh, send us an email, or check out our webinars that we do every Wednesday if you need uh, a full demo or a one-on-one question or anything of that kind.